this video, we're going to go over how to get started with the Fruitful app and how it can help accomplish your goals faster and save months and maybe years of hard work. Before diving into the Fruitful software, I just want to point out that in addition to the app, you're going to get access to the entire Fruitful Reboot Camp training. Now, this is a nine module 54 HD video high quality course integrated on teachable.com. It's going to teach you things like outsourcing, scaling and hiring strategies to put your business and personal life on autopilot, even if you don't think you have the budget to begin delegating tasks, how to stop and reverse things both internally and externally that are sabotaging you from being more productive, how to three X your energy and far more training geared toward being more productive and getting more done far faster. Now, what's the app all about? First, it's partially based on the 80-20 rule or Pareto principle that states that most of our results come from 20% of certain tasks or the vital few, and to save time and accomplish goals faster, we should think about focusing on those vital few tasks that if done could make even the other tasks obsolete and not needed to be done at all. But instead of just using the Pareto principle as the general rule of thumb when running our business or trying to accomplish goals like it is today, the Fruitful app takes this a step further as you'll see and implements an actual system that's easy to set up and follow. Also, it's based on the idea of micro-tasking or the idea that bigger goals can be started and thus accomplished faster if you break them into small chunks that require little willpower to get started instead of writing down the whole task to do and then just procrastinating to start it. So what this app does is give users a set of easy to get started with micro-tasks that are strategically ordered and color-coded for maximum leverage to help accomplish goals faster or help analyze where most of your willpower and focus are going. Oh, and one more thing before we dive into the demo. There's no one-size-fits-all strategy to using this software that everyone has to follow. You may get better results by using the app one way than compared to someone else, which is totally fine. It's something that we're going to be exploring more in the training that comes with this. First, the Cloud app is going to allow users to assign what we call leverage value scores to commonly done tasks that they have to do during the week. The goals that they're working toward are chunks of that goal. For example, you can write down things like prepare healthy meals for the week, come up with an exercise routine, working out at the gym, buying groceries later, where a score of 10 would be something that brings a lot of leverage to accomplishing that main goal of, say, for example, losing weight. We would assign a value of 9 to refining and coming up with our exercise routine over just going to the gym because, number one, it requires more effort and willpower to come up with than mindlessly doing some activities at the gym. And number two, by changing an exercise or routine, you can help drastically increase the results, especially if you're doing the exercises wrong each day at the gym. Now you can create all the major tasks you do on a regular basis. Use this just to accomplishing one major goal at a time, or just create generic value placeholders like one to 10 leverage values without any specific tasks. And each score will be associated with a specific color, which you can edit and will come into play in just a second to allow us to quickly identify high or low leverage tasks that we need to do each day in the calendar section. Then users can go into the calendar section and schedule the tasks that they need to do for the day or for the week and schedule when they need it to be done since it's in a calendar version. We'll be teaching them in the training how to break up chunks of goals into easy to do micro tasks that require little willpower to get started. So for example, instead of scheduling outline healthy meals for the week, which may seem like a lot of work and could lead to procrastination, you can just assign or write down outline healthy dinners for the week, or even just write down plan tonight's dinner, which is a lot easier to do and get started with and can help get you more momentum to finish the entire task of creating all the meals for the week. Then you can assign a leverage value to it and sync it to the main goal or task that you created in the previous section. For example, we can schedule planned dinners for today and sync it to the main task of plan healthy meals for the week. Or if we create a marketing videos as one of our main tasks for our business and we need to edit the green screen element of a video, we can write down and sync it to create marketing videos task. Now you can get as detailed as you want with this or just quickly list a handful of micro tasks that you need to accomplish that aren't already ingrained habits and sync it to just a generic leverage value score. So what this does each day is give users a color coded system of easy to do micro tasks that help accomplish larger goals without a lot of effort to get started and more importantly a system they should do them in in order to create the most leverage toward accomplishing these goals faster including the ability to possibly eliminate the need to do some of the other micro tasks if higher leverage ones are done first. Now, an example of this would be something like hiring a customer support representative or creating customer support onboarding tutorials to eliminate a lower value task of actually doing the customer support, for example. 
Now, because this is in a calendar format, if you work a job you hate all day, you can schedule activities at 8 to 11 p.m. that you have to show up for that relate to a major goal like starting your own business and know what high leverage activities you need to do first to make big progress in that little time frame. If you can't immediately accomplish the micro task like shopping for groceries, but your wife has your car, for example, you can schedule it for later. So that way, when you're looking at your to-do list, there's no cognitive dissonance, meaning that your brain is looking at the tasks that need to be done, but you can't actually do them at that time. Then that task will pop up at the time that you can do it. Then you can take this a step further by timing yourself while you're doing these activities or just enter the time manually spent doing them. This will allow the Fruitful app to track how much time you really spend on what goal and what leverage value, allowing you to go into the analytics part and see for yourself where all your time is going. So say, for example, you think you may be focusing on high leverage tasks in your business that will make drastic impacts long term, like coming out with a new marketing campaign, inventing a new product. But really, most of your time is going to low leverage stuff like customer support, for example, or dealing with coding errors, stuff that isn't going to accelerate your business fast and waste a lot of time. Even if you do the time tracking stuff for just a week, you can be surprised at where your time is actually going, which could then help you make drastic changes long term. Now, there's a lot more features to this. And again, you can go all in on this and assign and attract all your activities and see how much progress you're making on all your goals or just use it to five to 10 minutes each evening so that the next day you know what easy to do easy to get started with activities you need to do in order or what high leverage micro tasks you need to do at your most productive time so you can make the biggest dent possible in a goal and save a lot of time long term. If you want to just make a traditional to-do list like a grocery shopping list or a list of activities you don't want on the main calendar, you can quickly add that by going to the others list tab and creating a new generic list. Overall, you can go all in on this and assign and track all your activities and see how much progress you're making on all your goals and where all your time's going or just use it five to 10 minutes each evening so that the next day you know what easy to get started with activities you need to do in order or what activities you need to do at your most productive time to make the biggest dent in a major goal in the least amount of time possible.